You're about to learn everything you need to create an amazing character for your story with four surprisingly simple exercises. Before we start, I just need you to make this your new mantra. Character is structure and structure is character. If you want to create a captivating story, you first need a captivating character. So let's go and create one. I'm screenwriter Pietro Schito and this is Write for Animation. Subscribe for more practical tips that will make you a better storyteller. By the way, you can follow along by downloading our free Build Your Character PDF guide. The link is down below. Their construction should be exceedingly simple, I think. Let's begin by making a list of your character's basic traits. Name, age, what they do, where they live, if it's important to the story, include their nationality, ethnicity, religion, or any key physical traits like hair color, skin tone, or any distinctive marks. Next, define their personality. Write four to six key personality traits that describe who they are and how they act. Write down their strengths and flaws. If your character has special abilities crucial to the story, include them too. Now use those traits to write down a one paragraph text that introduces your character. For example, this character's name is Elsa. She is 21 years old and she is the queen of Arendelle. She has magical ice power. She is shy, reserved, she loves her sister, but she lives in constant fear of her own power. Easy, right? It's really quite simple. Now that we know the basics of our character, let's dive deeper and start developing their story. Next step, want versus need. The want is an external goal your character strives for, drives their actions and moves the plot forward. The need is an internal lesson your character must learn to be happy. For the want, write down what your character is searching for. What is their goal? For the need, ask yourself, what does my character need to learn? What is it that they're missing? In Klaus, Jasper wants to deliver as much mail as he can to Lise Mirensburg, but he needs to welcome the town and its people to his heart. This is no way to treat a person. Understanding your character's want and need will give you a solid start on their character arc, but we can do better. Let's dig deeper with lie, truth, and ghost. The lie is a false belief that holds your character back. The truth is the belief they must accept in order to be happy. Think about it this way. Your character's belief in the lie drives their want, but what they really need is to learn the truth. See how they connect? It's all coming together. The ghost is a traumatic event from their past that fuels their belief in the lie. Not every character has a ghost that haunts them, but it can add some depth to your character. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. These concepts relate to the philosophy of your story. So when filling out this section, ask yourself, what are you trying to tell with this story? This is your truth. What would be the opposite sentiment to that? This is your lie. Our story is a battle between the lie and the truth. Some scenes will confirm your character's false belief, the lie, while others will push them to change and embrace the truth. In the end, only one can win. If the truth wins, it's a happy ending. If the lie wins, it's a tragedy. Let's see all of this in action in The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack believes his life in Halloween Town is dull, lie. This leads him to try to take over Christmas, want. Once he embraces his identity as the Pumpkin King, he's able to embrace everything he already has, truth, finishing in a happy ending. I am the Pumpkin King! We did a full breakdown of how this works in a three-act structure, so don't forget to watch that video right after this one. Okay, so we know who our character is, what they believe in, and what they need to learn. The only thing we're missing is your character's relationship. Characters don't exist in a vacuum. They have friends, bosses, enemies, and loved ones. How your character interacts with these people is crucial for making them relatable and complex. And, like in real life, their interactions depend a lot on what they know or ignore about themselves and the world. This is where the character web comes in. It helps you identify the key characters in your story and how they're all connected. Now it's time to fill your world with more characters. To create the web, place your main character in the center and arrange the others around them. Use lines to show how they're connected and write down their relationships. Wow, 
Whoa, slow down, egghead. For example, in Tangled, Rapunzel is at the center. She's connected to Flynn, her companion and love interest. Then there's Mother Gothel, who's family, but also the main antagonist. And Pascal, her closest friend. Easy peasy. Your web can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. Okay, if there's one thing that I want you to learn from this, is that your plot is a result of your character. Everything we just talked about, the truth, lie, ghost, what he knows, what he doesn't, the plot is a consequence of all this. So never start from shaping the plot. Start with creating an unforgettable character. Remember, structure is character, character is structure. Now it's your turn. Download our free Build Your Character PDF guide and fill it out with your characters. These concepts work for all characters, including villains. Check out this video to see how using lie, truth and ghost can shape your villain's journey. I'm Pietro, this is Right for Animation and I'll see you there.